What's up, yo? Big Cat 305 here. Today we're making smash burgers. That's right, smash burgers, Mexican style, on the E Series griddle, our first actual real cook. I cannot wait. I found this uh, recipe at a local restaurant here in Miami, and it is phenomenal. I hope I do as good, hopefully better. We'll see, we'll find out. Stick around and you will find out about that. If you're new to the channel, what we do here is we try to simplify the cooking process, make it easy and fun. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. If you're a current subscriber, thank you for all the support. We really do appreciate it. Keep hitting that thumbs up and commenting down below. Everybody, let's get cooking. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off with a medium sized yellow onion and you're just gonna dice up as much as you need. And that's gonna be just one of our toppings. Just a little bit of prep work, not very much prep work at all involved in this. Let's go ahead and speed it up. All right, so onion is done. Get that out of the way into a nice little bowl. And then we have some beautiful vine ripe tomatoes. We're gonna do the same thing, just dice these up. Just another topping for our Mexican smash burger. Oh yeah. So dice, 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 chop, chop, chop slice 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 get these ready to go for the toppings they are absolutely beautiful once again set these off to the side into a little bowl and on to the next step which is going to be our ground beef 80 20 ground chuck and i use that half cup uh, container three to four out three to five ounces really for any smash burgers it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't normally measure it. I'm just kind of showing you guys like a little bit of a tip. You do not want to ball these up super tight. You kind of want to do them loosely. Just form them into like a little meatball almost, but not tight. You want to leave those air pockets so you can smash them down and get them nice and flat, just like so. So here's our ingredients. We've got some chipotle lime. That's going to go in the bottom bun. And then we've got our smash burgers, obviously. We're gonna put some pepper jack cheese on top of each one of those patties. We're gonna do two patties here. And then we're gonna, on top of that, we're gonna put our, our, our diced onions and tomatoes. And then on top of that, we're gonna put some pickled jalapenos. And then finally, some Mexican style crema on the top bun. Oh yeah. And then finally, we have our hamburger buns with some butter which we're going to toast up so we have our blackstone preheated to 500 degrees it's getting there and let's get our camera in place here and then that's it it's so easy <laughs> and it tastes so good we're just going to melt a little bit of butter just for flavor this is a non-stick griddle so you don't really need anything like that but just for the flavor so we get it nice and hot and we put these smash burger meatballs and then I do not have a proper utensil yet, like a proper spatula to smash these down, and I really don't want to use any kind of metal, so I just used what I had. <laughs> it's, a, I, and it's a little out of focus, but I wanted you guys, I wanted you guys to see my, my struggle here because I want everybody to learn. Um, and yeah, you just use what you got, and trust me, it works. <laughs> you just gotta, you just gotta kind of, kind of push through it. So. You'll see, it, it, it comes out awesome. So that smash it down as best you can. Use whatever you got, just do not scratch that surface. Uh, so the key here, you really wanna try to get 10 seconds push down, but obviously we can't push the whole thing down uh, at once. So I kinda did like you know, five seconds here, five seconds there, moved it around. Again, just work with it the best you can. Uh, but you can hear that sizzle that griddle is nice and hot and it is doing its job right now so all right smashing down looking good we're just about ready for the next step which is the seasoning so uh, get them smashed to where you like them i really tried to go thin here i've got some a lot of feedback on some of my other smash burger videos you got to go thinner you got to go thinner so i really tried to push uh, a little bit thinner and hopefully you guys like this better. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, they come out great either way. All right, so we just got some salt and pepper 
and that's it I didn't go crazy with any kind of seasoning just salt and pepper uh, while they are cooking up so here's the next key is to let them cook give them three four minutes whatever it takes until you see those juices start to come up we're gonna speed it up here so you can see what I'm talking about so this is four times fast motion here so you can see what I'm talking about they're definitely shrinking down the juices are starting to come up through the top just kind of like a pancake and that is the key to a smash burger it keeps those juices on in but it gets it nice and crispy on the bottom and nice and seared which is what you want all right it is just about time to flip these and look at this this non-stick you don't even have to try to pry underneath it just it just flips but look at the sear on that that is beautiful it is so it's so slippery uh it's hard to, it's actually hard to turn just because it's so slick but look at the sear on both sides that is that crunch factor that you're looking for with any kind of smash burger and that is looking awesome you can smell you, you can't smell but i could smell the 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 butter and the the crispiness and the salt and pepper and all that stuff that is coming through and it's looking delicious now it's time to top it with our cheese this is that pepper jack cheese and at the same time right after we put down our pepper jack cheese we're going to put our buns down as well just to get those toasted up because that cheese is going to melt fast and these burgers are going to be ready in no time because we smashed them down pretty thin so i used the, the handy dandy little lid here and we covered it up and look at that thing steam up and literally like a minute later look at the cheese melted look at the buns toasted that's the blackstone is the best toaster in the world in my opinion and the e-series is is uh is doing just as good as the gas one so uh we take off the top bun because we're going to leave that bottom one on to build here and we put our aioli chipotle lime sauce and then we're going to build our smash burger on the bottom i know i know everybody's going to be like oh you're supposed to put everything and then build it on the top i know i did it differently okay we have a lot of toppings that's why i did it this way all right so building from the bottom i put down the uh the jalapenos first and then i decided to take it off um and then build this way with our crema our mexican crema on top of that and then i put the onions and tomatoes and then put it together like this and oh my god look at what we're talking about here so crispy cheese crispy burgers pepper jack cheese melting all over the place fresh tomatoes fresh chopped onions pickled jalapenos and that mexican crema on top oh my god let's go eat Hoo <laughs> Oh my goodness, our first cook on the E-Series. We did a smash burger, yeah! And we did it Mexican style. Uh, let me tell you, this is smelling absolutely phenomenal. You can see the cheese melting everywhere and the tomatoes and the onions and the pepper jack and the crema and the chipotle. Aioli, a quick close up, and we are going to dig in because wow, that looks good. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna dig in because I'm starving, and oh wow, uh, yeah, here we go. Nice, crispy buns the best toaster in the world the blackstone even the e-series even better i think maybe we'll find out real quick it's hot mm. oh my god mm. Mm -mm -mm. wow that is phenomenal let me tell you the jalapenos i forgot about the jalapenos the jalapenos are kicking it up like crazy Look at that, I think it's beautiful. Mm, mm, mm. One more close up. Look at that steam coming off there. Oh, wow. Let me tell you, 
This smash burger is definitely one of the best burgers I've ever had. Try this recipe, you will love it, I, I, I guarantee it. So do not wait, just do it. It, it tastes absolutely phenomenal. So everybody, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting, and we'll keep on cooking. Big Cat out.